must be boiling in that booth, in those booths. It, it is, it is the relic of the... Yeah. Because of the gas. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Because there's a lot. Because they have two small parts chambers. You have to take two to bring a witness. Actually, it is the exhibit that you should have brought the last one. Because they were here, they did a fourth one. Oh, I see. Council, is the witness um, uh, ready? Uh, yes, as, as far as I know, the witness was here five minutes ago, but he's being, uh, he's on his way apparently. I Dembo Mamo Bojang. Nte Dembo Mamo Bojang. Nte Dembo Mamo Bojang. Do swear that. Mbengkeli lako. I Dembo Mamo Bojang. Nte Dembo Mamo Bojang. Nte Dembo Mamo Bojang. Do swear that. Mbengkeli lako. Benkal lako. I'll speak the truth. Mbeto nya fola. Mbeto nya le fola ja. The whole truth. To nya damma. To nya damma. And nothing but the truth. Alu nte fem fola mem manke to nya di. Nte fem fem fola ja mem manke to nya di. So help me God. Oto alama ale yende ma. Alo mari mari manchata la yende ma. Please be seated. Council ko yesi. Dembo, Katu Itilemuna Jatioti Jamburjan, Bio in Tolbe Mubo Janet. Badembo, since you are host today here in Jambo, therefore all of us are Bojang. Uh, so, uh, Bissimila. Akoye Bissimila. Um, uh, so, uh, we have met yesterday. My name is Esa Fal. You can call me Esa Bojang today. Akwale benta kunung atomu esa faleti baribitumbi isa kumandi no esa bojana. So my responsibility is to help you narrate your story about what happened to you and the people of Jambur in 2009. Ako ala doko momenti bi wale mu purke ma koi yela kosa ta mengketa iteni mola Jambur sate okono 2009 sango kono. So. Uh, kindly tell us your full names, please. Ito Fonyembang. My name is Dembo Mamo Bojang. 
Where do you live? Akoi besiri mintole. I'm a resident of uh, Jambur. I was born here, and my grandparents were all born here. Uh, how about You were born and raised in Jambur, uh, and uh, you also lived in Jambur when Yaya Jami take, took over power in 1994. Ako Jambur Jambur Jane Hanifo 1994, Yaya Jame Nimbankota. Yes, I accept that because uh, personally, since Jawara's time, until Jawara left and uh, Yaya came, uh, during Jawara's time, I was married with my children. Uh, uh, he was married and he got children. Is that what he meant to say? Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much, Mr. Interpreter. Okay. Uh, during the Jame regime, uh, which party did you support? It is a political party, Jumalekang. What more than UDP? At that time, I was supporting the UDP. I never voted for Yaya Jame. What was the relationship like in Jambur between UDP supporters and the supporters of APRC? Ako taranya be keri nunyadi le UDP la molu ani APRC la patiyo la molu tema e Kenya be nyadi la utumo. If you can use some of thinking in them, they used to tussle over one issue. Tussle or fight over one. I said tussle. All right. Please proceed. Ako etenteng. Often killing all of my side. That one issue was uh, the presidency. Oh my side, I wish you can see all the atiolo ateleba. That uh, presidency, for many times, uh, Yaya was in control of it. Akata fo sanji muani fula abe masa akono. He tried, and for 22 years, he was in government. It was, uh -huh. it was during the, the 22nd year that God's judgment came Ate, down and uh, ended his time, and he vacated the place. Uh, through God's help, we got someone else, uh, someone that is called Adam Abaro. Today, he is the one who is there. Uh, during this uh, period in which Yaya Jame was president, uh, did you happen to find yourself in a situation where you had to fight other people because of the politics that was taking place in Jambur at that time. Ako wo wuche okono wato me ya jambe be o mara rola. For inata jele ko fo ini mo dolu kabula nyola le walla ka kelefang kato politiko be lari nyame mbanko kanjang sako saate kono jang. Ha kanyo ni mo dolu kabula saate kono nyola nyola jane. Yes, we had differences with people in this village here. Kindly tell us about it. Yo, wo bula nyolo wo fonye mbang. Wo bula nyolo ning EPR sin kwa de dunda nyola. That difference was between me and members of the EPRC. Na karte fai. We voted. Yaya kanyeta. Yaya won. Tolba sunurinde. We were content. We were very unhappy. Kato tolba kusen dabo minno ka manna kanye. Because Usunidabo, whom we supported, did not win. 
na badi ngul wulite la korda ko ne natan nyawal korda ko no fokelos dundan ni tema our relatives left their houses came to our homes and began to mock us until we ended up fighting o badi ngul wala mun nakabilo modol ti wala mun santan juban ko de those are members of my kabilo santandu from santandu santan juba santan juba ko nen wonata o somanda fitino dunta ne tema kele jaw o dunta ne tema that morning a big fight ensued between us o kelo kola after that fight inata paramilitary sambanankan they brought paramilitaries here for us yenin karo ken tolla they asked our names yen chika jam they took us from here in samba birkama police station or to birkama police station inata nyini nkaje they asked us while we were there nata kumo itandila minketa we narrated to them what happened in nyunu de kabonela korda kono kana kanyawal korda kono fonen dirinin sentani dun tante man nata wolleta dila statement or that these uh, people left their homes and came to our houses mocking us until uh, we insulted each other until satan got between us there that was what we ex uh, explained to them iko ibn tolis sorona they said that they were going to lock us up ko ko hani i said to them no ko ko hani i said to them no ninga atra nte tada bu njoto to nte motu mu lala le alla nyine nyi if i am to go to uh, prison then i will not uh, expose anyone i will take it that that is my fate from god but moye bala korda ko na ene tare la korda ko no but for someone to leave his or her house and come and meet you in your own house ene woye keloke and you if you should fight with that individual amanke fenkanti fo politiko over nothing except politics yeah atuli e woji be ali abonda la o korda ko no keloke ta dami anata samba police station oto then you how did you see it you take that person from his house and take him to the station ali kala foko albentol chachi la chachi ro min diminta and then you said that you are going to charge us uh, harsh charges and ya kala and which they did ya kala they did it yen dundi selo ko they put us inside a cell til say for eight days ko non ton jang on the ninth day watale na tambot that was when we were released barinta ni koto mi mu bakeli fakelinte but me and my brother whom and we share my biological brother and in dingolo and our, my children yen tolu be parkele all of us we are parked and in barinding barinding ma and uh, my nephew and in mama ringolo and uh, our grandchildren yen tolu be dundi selo ko all of us we are put inside the uh, how many of you akali mo yelu na akali mo yelu ba fola ali atol le nyanta atol le nyanta konde la fi I can yeah. you, you are supposed to do the counting yourselves. Yo say aka e ko ite. Yo ndenin ko to ma min keta dudukati. Myself and my brother Duduka. Ana di ma Usman and uh, his son Usman. Ana do ma Dudubojja and his younger brother Dudubojja. And in nabarin di ma wala mu binta sirati. Another of my nephews called Binta Sira. And in mama marim ma min keta keba ma di bojanti. My grandson keba ma marim bojan. Nadima Usman Bojan fanabe o kafo kono My son Usman Bojan was also among this group Okay wollo mo these were individuals eight of you right Akwale Mosai Ah yes okay uh, who led the opposing group that you fought with Jumale keta o kafu do nyaton koti alni menno keleta Min keta o kafu do nyaton ko sa se ke EPRC la ke amanoti the one who led that other group could be the APRC chairman and he was marafang bojan he was the reason for them to come and meet us in our house uh, where is he now marafang bojan marafang bojan saying at a lay abandoned he is late uh, in that fight Do you believe that the police treated you fairly? Ako o kelo, bila keta. Saying itela mira roto for police olu nata tilling alitema le bang. Police olu 
Et on n'a pas tant mis n'a pas mal ouvert. Well, what the police wanted to do, God didn't uh, carry do things that way. At that time, they would not be brave enough to show their sympathy towards us whilst Yaya Jame was still running affairs. That is, why, that is why they all stood there, so that even if one of some of them were there who actually had good intentions for us, they would they did not show that to us. They were, they would shout and uh, express anger towards us. Uh, but by putting you and your group, eight of you, in detention in the cells, do you believe that act? Uh, in by that you were being treated fairly. Ako. I tell you, Muta, I tell you, Mosai, Kalisin did like killing Walla Kaldun di Cello Cono. Illa Mira wrote a form of Kutil in the Muleti Bang. Madame Yensodo, don't want to Kutil in the Madame Yensodo. Woman, woman, the Kutil in the Madame Yensodo. Woman, woman, the Kutil in the The suffering that was measured to us there was such that this could not have been something that was right. Why do you believe? that your group were punished by putting you in detention whilst the other group uh, was not detained. Ako muna kata nyinti ilata lako munana yete nila mwulu kadundi mutoko no wo kafudo imana wulu muta kesorong. Wulu mu wulu be ya jamele no kan wato sembo min katama ya ala sembo damare katama bangkoka. Those ones were followers of ya jamme. And at that time, it was only Yaya uh, Jame's power that was in operation. And they would not arrest those ones. Uh, are you suggesting to the commission that you were treated that way, that you were detained, simply because uh, you supported a party that was opposing Yaya Jame? You supported UDP. <laughs> wo patio manke patiti mem ya jamela patio ti amunta telbe patio mento woleni ya jamela patio be nyu sabaka ngulem udp patio ti hakan yes indeed after that event uh, okay let me rephrase after your 8 days of detention did they take you to court Bring Alio Tili Seoke Mutokono. For in Atali Sambale Kitolaban. Hani Kitio Manaki. No, there was no court case. Uh, at, at the time, uh, who was the governor of the West Coast region? Potembo, Jumalem Brikama Tundo La Governorti. One of Ibrahim Asar Lamin. He was Ibrahim Asar from Lamin. And uh, while you were detained in uh, Birkama, uh, did the Alcalo in Jambur have anything to do with that? Ako wato men alibo muto kono Birkama. Sato la Alcalo Jambur jam fo ati kusoto le wakono bang. Aban kusoto je ko katuko barinding kono tolo mo bar nata ra balafa soto je tamba nata nji beje. He did not have anything to do with it, but he was my ne nephew, and uh, if anything, if he had shown sympathy to us, he would have come to visit us while we were there. But it was not only him. Even the party that we support, the leader himself did not visit us. Neither did he send anybody to come and visit us. Uh, um, Itela nyato nko ibe minno ka ni wo mang itela toro amani iji beaka. The party that you are supporting, if the leader does not feel the pain that you are going through. Oto mtenga tandi kabiri njuna kabiri woketa malafi wisheni dabo la UDP. So from that time I have expressly said so that I do not want to wisheni dabo at UDP. Malafi UDP la kotenke. That I did not like the UDP again. If this president 
uh, leaves except if they put someone else. But mm -hmm. if Usenu Jabo were to stand as a, co a, a, a candidate, I yeah. will not support him. Yeah. If they put a new person, I will vote for that new person. Uh, maybe. May that individual one vote. If it is uh, it joined with a on uh, a two thousand vote, perhaps only that vote would be the reason for a victory. So I will not give my vote to Usenu Dabo. And if I should hear that he, he is the one that selects someone to contest elections. I will not also vote for that individual. I like him, but he does not like me. Someone that is following you, if you should get into trouble, are you not supposed to reach out to that individual? He did not reach out to me, neither did he send anybody to me to find out what was being done to me. So anyone that likes with the single double, in fact, I do not even like that individual. So, okay, ultimately, on that particular case, you were released on bail, were you not? Okay. 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 The CID. He released us and asked us to go. Don't take the bill here. Every morning when we wake up, we used to report back. That was the condition of our bill. In the course of the reporting on bail, which became very difficult for us, he eventually said to us, go, each time we needed you, that they will call us. And that call, up to today, we are still waiting for it, but because they, they did not call us eventually. That is the way that issue is uh, lying at the moment. Uh, but in 2009, uh, some people came to Jambur village. Uh, who claimed that they came here to kill the people of Jambur? Jambur Jara. Can you tell us about that? First, if Yes, I can say a little bit about it. Because I held the Quran and I swore to it. There was a day. My house is by the Bantaba. I saw people passing with drums. Many people. Girls, boys, and some soldiers, they were passing, they passed and went to the Alcalos compound. But the one that took them there is Hali Sise from Latria. He came with them, they were his strangers, and he brought them here. Those uh, visit, uh, strangers, when they were hosted down, uh, the Alcalos message got to the Imam. I have uh, strangers. Uh, pardon me, uh, but who was the Alcalo at the time? <laughs> so, <laughs> At that time, Keba Juju Bojang was the Alcalo. And who was the Imam? Jumalam Al Imam Motinu. Alfang Karamo Bojang. Alfang Karamo Bojang. And proceed, please. Akosila is attending. When they came to the Bantaba, 
they performed their dances there, they said, they said they were going to the cemetery to perform some prayers. But I did not go there. I did not go there. But there was someone here, the son of the Imam, the Imam uh, let him go with them. Uh, if the narration reaches the individual, he will be in a position to tell you exactly what happened there. Whatever took place there, he will tell you. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, did you get to hear about what happens there for in, in the cemetery? For in the cemetery, Yes, I eventually heard something, but it did not happen in my presence. I had a whole was dog. Yes, she said that a, a red cock was killed there. She said Wulang Kanateri Mokola. After killing the red cock, in other bars and asaj. They killed they slaughtered a, 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 a goat as well. But he banned she said Kenya Minyama. But how they uh, what they did with the goat and the cock, I cannot say anything on that. After the cemetery, did you see them again? I didn't see them again. After they left the cemetery, they returned back into the village here. They were telling us that these people have come for uh, to come to cure people. They are going to cure people. But I cannot talk about what happened or transpired between them and others. But what transpired between me and them, I will tell you. When they came to me, the Alcalo said, said to me, these people came, they said they, they've come to cure you, and uh, they want to cure you. Uh, these people, uh, can you tell us how they were dressed? They were dressed in red, they had Cow cells on their hearts, and they had charms as well, or jujus. Uh, you said there were girls and boys, and soldiers amongst them. These boys and girls, uh, do you know whether there is a name by which they were called? Ko, wo mo lu menu ni nyil nata o nyaw, sunkusol ni nkamba nolu. Wo lu, isafo wule mu mfem faso nule dungu. They came dressed in their t-shirts, but what was written on their t-shirts, t-shirts I cannot say because I am not literate in English. Uh, that group are they known by any particular name? Those youths, I don't know whether they call them green boys or what. Have you seen, seen any members of that group before, these so-called green boys? Have you seen them before? green boys. Yes, in the course of the activities of their party, we used to see them. That time I, I, I saw them, they did not come to me in a violent way. They used to play or do their activities with members of their party. Uh, you told us earlier that the entire group was led by Ali Sisse of Latria. Yes, 
Yes, sir. yes indeed. Uh, do you, did, could, did you recognize any other member of that group? For Modo Falancitra Woka Fokono, Yemen Sutebang. Halini Mininar, Ha, Mamma Sute Wokono, Hali Damar Sute. I did not recognize anyone else except Hali. How about the soldiers? Did you know any or recognize any one of them? Ako between soldier or Luni Menunata, for a more long Econoliban, while a former Mosita de Yemen Sute. Ninsha Morlo Noje and Ninsha Min Sute and Olam Solo Bojan. If there is one person that I can recognize or even know, it would be Solo Bojan. Bojan. How did you come to know Solo Bojan? Yes, Solo Bojan, in that yard alone yardily. Now, not Janeto. I knew him from here. What on Casenoke? That time we used to plow for Yaya Jame. We used to farm rice. Omano. That rice. B. Today. Omano le Gambia kono. That is the rice that is uh, distributed across the length and breadth of the Gambia. That uh, the the seedlings for that rice came from this place. We were working in collaboration with one officer, official from the agricultural department. We used to work together. He is, he was Kunjo. At that time, I, we used to work with that man. Every, every kind of seedling. When it is brought from outside of the Gambia, this, this is where it is brought to because this is where we, we nurse the seedlings and after we farm it, it's that uh, produce that they take and distribute across the country. The type of rice that we farm here is Narika. Narika, Shifa, Narika has many varieties. There is white Narika. That Narika. If anyone is farming that Narika up to today, that seedling came from this jambu. Because we were the ones that nursed the seedlings in our rice fields. And uh, through God's blessings, there was progress. That is why today Gambia has this rice variety. But there are other varieties of rice whose names I cannot say. Uh, but uh, are you telling us that it is in, in connection with uh, that farming uh, that you came into contact with Solo Boja? Ako, fulu asekeko wo senu men iba foka wonya wo konolem ni solo bo jannata nyoje ban foka nyolo kanyolo ngo far wulo le kon we knew each other during the course of that farming and af kulan jam and secondly to madon salon no karado fanala min kata kanil light there's also another area through which i also knew him which was in kanilai kabojanen ka we used to depart from this place, take a vehicle, and go to Kanelai to work on Yaya Jame's farms. Uh, but that work in Yaya Jame's farm in Kanelai, did you used to go voluntarily? Ako Yaya Jame lao balengo member Kanelai. Fali kata alifongo leje wanya kadia alifongo leba. Nko mansa mu nyanyi ni tala tinka nyanyi ni ne wole kadina kataje. A, a president is someone that you look you look favors from because we were looking for his favors. That was why we used to go there. What type of favors were you looking for? Say alika anyanyi ni mukuni mukulela. Talong na adaji ko mimbara. The behavior that uh, he has. Kanya anyanyi ni nne kama alamantoro kana dunka. We used to, the favor that we were looking for, so that his aggression, the uh, suffering that he is, 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 is able to met out, let it not uh, come to us. That is why we used to depart from this place, the development society of Jambur, and go to Kanilai to work on his farms.
Sometimes we spend three days, or just four days, and then we return back to our families. And for how long have you, you your Yiruwa Kafo, for how long have they done this for okay. your Ajami? Allah Yiruwa Kafo, what is the problem you do for some of your Ajami? Many times. Uh, if I was literate, I would have told you this year and that year was when we worked here. But what we found our elders doing, they used to say that if we are asking for rain, was the farm was called Fite Kunto. Ah. That was the year we cultivated that yeah. area. Apart from that year, when we worked the farmer farms, that was when this thing happened. Uh, Badimbo, can you please uh, address the commissioners? Can you look at the commissioners when you answer questions? Mm -hmm. And don't, please don't turn away from the microphone. Ako nibe jabiro kela, kana eko di microphone la, isi nyati ling commissioner la, wole mnil mwole mwole siri ntabulo to, wole be la mweka ngbake. Wole be, wole be marakaro la tebe. Ha, wole be marakaro. Shila mbe nyati ling nani. Now I will face, face, and face you. <laughs> Good. So, so now you have told us uh, how you know, came to know Solo Bojang. Uh, at that time, Solo Bojang, when you saw him with the green boys and the green girls and the people who were dressed in red, uh, beating drums and dancing, uh, could, uh, do you recall whether Solo Bojang carried anything with him at the time? Akosa ya fanyen e solo boja lo nyaming yo kabwata solo boja na ani o mulu menu fanal na ta wanya nintan tangolu betan tangolu kusila so fo ila korosiro kono ate solo boja fo ate wolung vya fende ya bulu kono bang hanga kido ya bulu kai yes I saw a gun with him was solo boja the only soldier or the only person dressed as a soldier in this group ako. For solo bojang at a damane soldier family doom wokafo kono lumbang. Hani? No. How many other people were in that group who were dressed as soldiers? A komo jelu ilakros rotu le beo kafo kono menu fanali soldier fano doom. As a keno mo fulaselate kawa la mo shaba. It could be two other individuals or three. Can you tell us what means of transport they took to arrive in Jambur? For a cell phone, you in at a Jamburja Nadi, the motor for some will be in at a jam. Ah, motor boss or another boss or some banana. They came with a bus, Tomado and Moton de Saba, and probably with three other vehicles. Near Jimba for nothing. The reason why I'm saying it this way, the Mamotol Toland, because I do not know the names of vehicles. Mamotol Toland. I don't know the names of vehicles. When the group arrived, did they say who sent them? Bring waka fo mo lu futa te jang. Ya fo le bang me ye kina. Ah, ima fo nye de barin tolam chondo mo miro to komansi akunda de kina. They did not tell us, but in our minds, we had the belief that they were sent by the government. Why did you have the belief that they were sent by the government? Muna na alenyi mira komansi akunda le kina. Because they were strangers, they were not Gambian citizens. If you see that they are traversing the length and breadth of this country until they reach here in Jambur, still telling us things that are hurtful, then we should be able to say that it was the government that made it possible for them to reach us here. I'm not going to call any other individual's name pertaining they are coming here, except the government. Uh, if you were to say uh, who in government authorized uh, this visit, who would you say did that? 
akoni ba fola misali kama mansa kunda kono meye nyiliki sa yeti la miro to ba fola ko jumale nyiliki ya neki atara mansa ya ya send them he was the president apart apart ya la wato kono mo la kale fansin kuma fo ya ma min ko julli ya jame stem does anyone say anything which ya jame doesn't approve of akenda ta o man kende a o ya la kala be fo nyi whether it's well or not well yaya is the one who says all and whatever he says that is what takes place we are also aware of that apart from the fact that they were able to come to jambur unhindered is there anything else that you saw which made you believe that they were sent by the government yo silo be talan kana fo jambur jang femme muta silo kan femme tardende fo bitu wol femme do mudali lo leti men sa itande ko atele yeki nam bang ah ha a seken o nyama kay it could be that way ka do ko hanni ya tobe de karomin even wherever ya jabes name was mentioned mo bu kale la ke atande wo nobody shows their manhood in, the, was, in that area ala tala wo God gave him that grace during his government. Many things, if you see us doing it, it's because of the fear of him, that is why we do those things. Yeah, yeah, it's nothing. He was a human being, just as we are. But we were afraid that he could do something even if we are not dead then we will but we will live with the consequences of that whether you like him or you don't like him it was such that we all liked him uh, when they when you saw this group how did you feel when ah. I saw them, I said, ah. I said, mm. you see these individuals, they, are not, they, are, they have not arrived in this village peacefully. Why did I say this? I saw soldiers amongst them with their guns. Then they, they are not coming in peace in the village that was how i saw the whole issue how did you feel at the time ako tembo ya ta nyadile ya 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 ko je nyadile otumo ngo nga nyin ko je nyami the way i saw this thing ah nga je nyin na kam ko inata nyin na la politiko kan i saw that the reason is that they came here because of politics but ko tan ngol min la modi bi for other party members who are here to to intimidate other people, other members of other parties Did, were you intimidated did you feel intimidated ako fodum wo ko na ta ke kuti meyete fonga silandi bang fodum ay mo dolu fanal silandi ni ay nda silandi nda mi nga jambur be silanda da where i was scared the whole of jambur would be scared because for others their houses were empty only the children were there we were taken to a place where we know not so can you tell us how people were taken tell us the process afonye silang ye molu muta nyadile muta nya o kenya o fonye bang no ta ila muta ronya the manner in which they were arrested they come go from house to house but they used to look at some houses and they jump them but in our houses they used to come in and they look look for us anyone that they found in there they will take you along and put you inside the vehicle we work like this in this village but even here 
ngadi fondi kel soro jan kabiri nate ni wolle be kafu nyari be wuru wuru there were some youths here who were from here who joined them when they came and they were going around shouting par wolla kontano labango nata kebulu kumbole but those people their happiness initial happiness ended up being crying for them kad ko nata jibe ko ye famu dal ko andi ye bamu tal because we ended up seeing that those people some of them had their fathers and mothers arrested eh wo fondi kel nata le me kafutana so those same youths came to me ni kuya with sadness par mahani ko kala ma ke lola but we were not uh, brave enough to fight bokele ko won tele nga woni ni jamburu kono jam man ka fu nyoso dal i wanted a fight but i did not have anyone to side with me kabri emuta yen samba jame moto jam moto kono when i was arrested i was taken to by the mosque where the vehicle was parked nyun ko ko la kebe siyala le after this incident you will have many men kabri ko nya ko dum moto kono dum dam moto kono But when they asked me to get into the vehicle and I got into the vehicle I mean those that I found there even my older brother my biological brother I found inside there Unko. I said let's alight and kill each other with these people I said to them no matter how many they are we are more than them Unko. I said alight iman so ina tay ko kam ma ne nga sabari be min kala ne si tay sa ken they were not they did not agree they came begging me they said that we should go and uh, accept whatever comes our way ko la yal ben ni mi sandilat i said you are making me to regret par ba un ko baba o nyol ko i said uh, to baba and the others wo min te fulan yanna something that will not happen for the second time o ka ka ken dekale that is to happen well I said to them then we will regret this. So I also took it and uh, sat down. Because those people that we are in the vehicle if they were going to slaughter us they will take us to somewhere else and slaughter us there. But they will not slaughter us at our very own Bantaba. I also went inside and sat in the vehicle. Can you tell us whether all those people in the vehicle joined the vehicle voluntarily or were they compelled? For sa phone nyi wo molu menu be bulata o moto ko no nya. E adiate fa won le ba fodum kuñ kuñ ñil menu nata wole ya akendi ye dun di moto ko no. Go. Chairman, chairman muna sabari. Chairman please, I beg your pardon. Ko kare sabari. Please, I beg your pardon. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Please. Min diata ngumba fa ma faale janko min diata ya 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 ka wole. Did I not tell you here before that anything that pleases ya jame was what he did? Ari jamal je in banku ka ya be sirin min na ya ya kuma fo jamal ka soso. Who have you seen in this country who has objected to what ya jame has said? Ya ya mo samba kinan ko en samba ndolbe balana no. If ya ya send some people to pick us up, will we refuse? Even if uh, no matter how we did not like it we beat and we just sat down Now she your control kon why we were seated e be saté kon agadi ko be saté kon it was in the village in mo kelin sina wala mo fula they will come with one or two people kelam musulamu either male or female They will put them inside the vehicle to join us. When I look up and look down, I said, and I said, we are going to regret this. But nobody was willing to join me. They did all of those workings. Those who were afraid, scared, when they heard the message, they ran away. They left their homes. We were seated there until after the five o'clock prayers. I told them that I am going to call for prayers. They said I will not go. I said to them, Are you kidding? Have you also brought joking issues to? put that together with issues of god ko al pare de bi wata al ben fala nal ko tete ala batu la al ben fala i said to them well then prepare today you are going to kill me if you insist that i was not going to pray solo natan jibe a kwala mole ko ala bula ay kula ka fundi je andum be 
So Lord came and looked at me and then said to his people, uh, let him go, because now he has invoked something and all of us are submissive to that. When I got inside the mosque, I took the mic and I put on the machine. Immediate prayer. This thing angered them a lot. My this statement angered them a lot. We, I was seated there. Prayer time came. I said I invited the people. We came together. The Imam led the prayers. We made prayers. The things that we prayed for, personally, I was praying for, for the Almighty Allah to, to protect me. me and those with me at the. Uh, at the uh, I was praying to Allah to protect me and those with me in detention. People left me in the mosque. I was performing that prayer. Two boys came in. They said to me, Dad, I raised my, my neck. I looked at them and I asked, what, what's going on? They said to me, they said, it's time. I said to them, wait for me, let's pray. I made that prayer. Not a then I came out and got into the vehicle. They started the engine. We went. We got to a particular house. They said that place was Kololi. The house that we got into, they said it is Baba Job's compound. We got into that building. We were all made to sit down. Just as these tables are, tables are arranged like this, this was the way we were seated. They came in our midst. And took our names individually. How many people were taken from Jambur? Jambur said to the young, you move the bondi young. I told not a dog will affect. Come, 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 You people have brought to work for me. I told you I am not literate, and now you are involving me in numeracy. We've been told that about 62 of you were taken to. A coin in for Komota or on Infula, you will the bondi. Oh, come, come, Yes, that is what I hear from my companions. Uh, those that uh, my those of my companions who did the accounting said it was 62 because I was angry. When we got to that Kololi and they conducted that uh, name uh, chicken. Let people don't think that I was paranoid. I, paranoid. I was I was just looking out for something. I was looking for something whether I could find out in Kololi. I did not know. They brought their lunch. They surrounded the basins. They were eating. I called Solo. Go Solo. I said, Solo. He answered, Yeah. I told him, Solo, you brought people here. You took us away from our lunches. Now we are here. You people are eating without giving food to those people. Omar, the Imam who just left here. Is one I can name. If he has the opportunity to speak, he will uh, say that this is true. He will support me based on truth. I got up and said to them, Okay, you will know. You are eating while we are not. 
Imamu na da nyapita nga kwenye kwa bade mbo. Ibe 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 kukela jande. Ibe fishenta no mama nda jande. Nko bingu nteka wale njini kabiri njamburu. Imam came and held on to me and said, bade mbo, you are about to steer trouble. I said to him, in fact, this is what I was looking for all the way from Jamburu. Akwante, akwante, akwante futala jie. He said to me, no, we will not reach there. Nka akwa bishimila. I said, well, fine. Nko bade mbo, bija wole man kondro. I said, but there are people here who have not yet taken their lunch. Kabiri jie na jie ni mindole na. Since they arrived here, they came here thirsty. But I ate. I ate but lunch. But I was fighting for the others who did not eat, so that they too could have food to eat. They said, "Let me not go there." But the people who came to the They said, "Let me not go there." But the people who came to the They said, "Let me not go there." But the people who came to the They said, "Let me not go there." But the people who came to the They said, "Let me not go there." But the people who came to the I said, one person's mother's marriage is not better than everyone's. Uh, my mother's marriage cannot be better than everybody in Jambu. How people took themselves. Yeah, let me take myself along as, as they are doing. But I, because I cannot fight for all of us without anybody joining me. We were operating like that. Inata, inata afonye ko alipare board me wato shit. They came and announced to us to be prepared that the time for the drinking of the medicine has come. Ulita. I got up. Bunne bije. There was a, a little house. Be before you get into the house, were you ordered to do anything? That is to say, come, you are going to drink medicine. At this stage, how were you dressed? I left here dressed with, <laughs> in my big shirt, in my long gown, trouser, and my hat. But when you were being called to go and drink this concoction, uh, were you still fully dressed? I was dressed in the same clothes until when I got to the place where we were to drink this concoction. They said, but before that, let me explain to you the state of the building. Where we drank this concoction. I don't know whether people used to defecate there or urinate there, but the state in which it was, was not good. But we took it to be a toilet. God is great. God is great. Yeah. Ni yeming nata nang bori mindula toje. We came to the place of the drinking of this concoction. Ikela don di ko ura bunda de. They used to remove your shirt from the door. Ari be kalela kurdo bot. But they don't remove your trousers. Dead man ta fani afala. Mo ken sem be katara je ke ku ni la kurdo le fe. I will not tell lies. Nobody is there naked. They used to bathe you with your trousers. Nata ra safa be ba. If at all you have any juju on you, you will remove that juju and place it on top of your shirt. You will get closer to them. There was one pot. The one that the things they call B and B things. That is in the uh, in English language. Those of you would would uh, know the, the the thing I'm talking about. They used to fill that up with their concoction. I do not know whether it is what is called kubejaro, whether talimbar, or another herb. I don't know anything on that. So they used to fill up this cup and give it to you, and they ask you to drink it. 
even if you drank, if, even if you have drunk enough. If you tell them that I've drunk enough, they'll tell you you have to drink the whole cup and finish it. You have to come back and complete drinking. Well, I had uh, a little disagreement with them there. Because when I drank it, the the drugs that was that was left inside the, the tea, they wanted me to drink that along. I said to them, I will not drink this thing because this, this, this is dirty. Because even the concoction that I drank, if if it's if not a force that was used, God knows uh, no human being should touch this, Ex uh, especially a, a Muslim. Uh, how about what? the women? How about the women? Were they allowed to keep their clothes when they were being taken in to drink? Ako, musolo dum biribe ulu fana lumindi la ni dunda mwako no. Ika wala don di ko lutu ibala le bang fui kibran. Ika wala don di ko ika landi le kile la tiko landi. They used to put their dresses down as well as their head ties. But in tola kuto katumba la nyami fana la fano le katu ibala wale nyami ebika obon. But just as our trousers were left on us, the same way their wrappers too were left on them. But they were taken into the room topless. Bari, ye dundiwo bungo kono dami mbori mindula watu amunta kaboy ite watu kata santo feto fata te watu. Kaboy munto? Kaboy te watu kata santo wole mnyintiko dundi kato. Feto fata wama o mura nka wole foye. No clothes covered those parts. That's what I'm telling you. Kurto wakadan teleto. The trousers stops at the waist and goes down. The wrapper too stops at the waist and goes downwards. But upwards, nothing is on it. You go there <coughs> naked, empty like that. Um, so, you drank the concoction. And what happened after that? After I drank the concoction, it uh, brought a lot of suffering to me. That difficulty was that I was having, uh, I was dizzy, and I was uh, urinating a lot, and I was vomiting also a lot. I was there like that. How about the other people who drank the concoction? Did you see anything different with them? Yes, indeed. Somewhere there, it made them drunk. Because if you are unable to do... If you are unable to behave like a, a properly, then... <laughs> You've lost your way. They were after after drinking the, the, the medicine took effect in their system. If you are not seated and uh, leaning backwards, you will have to lie down on the tiles. That was how we, it was like there. Did the people start behaving in strange ways? If you hear that someone is drunk, I'm not talking about somebody raising you up and uh, falling you on the ground. But we all are aware that if you take any substance and it makes you drunk, your body must be weak. Uh, There's also another aspect to it that did not happen to our people <laughs> there. That is to say that uh, these are useless things that they were talking about, about uh, witchcraft. 
that uh, those of us from Jambul, we did not have any such person like that. To the extent that you say something which is uh, a statement that is not pleasant. To God, I will not lie. I swore me, to the Quran and that is true. What happened, I can narrate that. I swear by the Quran. But nobody got drunk there to the, oh. position, to the point of uh, saying things that are not uh, understandable. Oh, my that did not happen there. Oh, my that did not happen. Ah. We received testimony that people who drank the concoction uh, lost their minds and were saying things uh, that were not normal. What do you say to that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alaji, I told you, I just uh, raised the Quran. I will not. Tell lies. Because I saw that after I escaped from these people in Jambul here, they had guns, but they did not kill me. You came seeking for the truth. I am not supposed to tell you anything which I know clearly that it did not happen in my presence. It could, it could have happened in another place where they had gone to, but from here in Jambur, such did not happen. Okay, what happened to members of your group who drank the concoction while you were seated there on those tiles in Baba Job's house? Ako muna kita itela kafu molula bringa liye boro mifuka pare watu meng alivesiring karoka mbava jobla wabungo kono je. Ah, unko wale fwe unko eko. This is what Bo I am telling you. I am saying. Boro ya modo lamfundi le. The concoction weakened some people. Pare ibana manya keje moche mimira kudot. But they did not behave in any way that can have someone thinking about anything else. They speak truth to one another. For the doctor who said that he is it the sick that seeks the doctor or the healer who goes around looking for people to heal? If there is, if there is, if there is if there is truth, how would you be able to leave your country and come to another country and say that you have an organization which you have established and you are going around looking for people to kill? At the hospital in Brikama, they never come here to look for us. We are the ones that go there to tell them that we are sick. They, used, they, they come here after us. But the way, the manner in which we saw these people, they were troublesome, they were troubling us. And in political, they are finding carol. And also, politics came through that way. Uh, this is what I have in your statement. Uh, tell us whether this is true or not. I will read it as follows. Quote, mm -hmm. After the exercise at about 8 p.m., I saw some people started getting unconscious. Did you say that to the investigators? For it a for Kiskisirlali, bring at a Saferola. But I also established that here. I said the medication or the concoction made people drunk. 
para medu kuma kalantam fora ka kuma kundang fo kuma kensen na fandanga medu wodo but it did not make them say statements that are not comprehensible or foolish things it did not get them to that ngawo fale bara felem ba sey ganna tun i said that to you but here i am repeating it again to you ka birim bo fana folan kale ko te fani akala nga qur'an o le ci ganna ay tandi mo jama be But when I was saying it, I told you that I will not lie. I Under took the, the Quran and I showed it to you all. Will, uh, will I tell lies? After that happened, uh, just a moment, just a moment. Uh, the word used by the interpreter is drunk. What I have in the statement is unconscious. So what I want to drive at is whether some people uh, got in unconscious after drinking the concoction yo aka mem fo ka je sele ya they fainted or something like that wala nyinti birin mo le nyim boro min fo ila mo ya falintale e ka fo ko dolu ketutale wala ku ketela yo menni siro te kelindi wayri siro ko tuba ko to wolam drunk ako fo nyim molu ku le ketela me yela mo yalu falin wala fo dolu si ketu I had that uh, question. I I am pleased with the question. And uh, what uh, the questioner is seeking to to have is to get clarity. But I told you here earlier on. Some said some were drunk and they were lying on the tiles. until uh, night fall some were tired some were tired because the in, med the intox the, med the, medicine, the medicine the concoction uh, make disease them it uh, put sickness in them some we had to put inside the vehicle and we came with them here when we arrived they are family members saw, saw them and uh, they were crying but uh, through the mercy of god our coming from kololi back home i mean la those whose sickness became worse ah uh, alhamdulillah i won't tell be not as soon but later on uh, they became better but wo wo kolana but after all that anada jankaro du mo jamala many people became sick again o jankaro aman do lu tu well some didn't survive that sickness do lu fata wo kono some died That's what happened in this village. <laughs> When a hyena passes and a goat got lost. Thanks to God. That's the type of uh, proverb we use for this the drinking of this concoction. Anybody who has uh, got trouble from drinking this concoction because when they did not take this concoction they did not experience that because even me bubakar seated here speaking it's weakened me so that even in my compound i'm not able to read it anymore there my companions if you will we could go there and you'll see it's all filled up with grass except if i have money and i pay people they will go there and uh, clear it for me this concoction is what gave me that mishap amanyama For, for how long were you at uh, Baba Job's house? Yeah, yeah, what? Yeah, what? He just like Baba Job la bungoto je. Ntata je alansharo. We went there around five o'clock. 
We left here at 5 o'clock. When we left here, we arrived there possibly around 6 p.m. Or 7 p.m. When did you return? I'll say it now what you mean. I'll say it now When we arrived there, we spent the night. In the morning, they said we were going to drink made the concoction for the second time. If I say it here, people will say here, here the more is again, telling lies. I said to the people there, there will be no drinking of the concoction again. We are going to kill each other here. It will not happen. I said it will not happen here. So their leader came and said to me, Elder, your, your, your things are very difficult. I said to him, I'm not difficult. What should not happen is what happened. And that is what is being said. That concoction, no one will drink it here, not here. I said, if it happens here, then we will be fighting here. But through the grace of God, my statement, God uh, made it happen. We did not drink the concoction again until it was time to return. I, I, I reminded them we reminded them that now we are about to return home. They said, no, you should wait, you should wait, you should wait a bit. There's, this individual, whether it's Solamin, who was their leader, and I said to him today, and I swore to God that nobody from Jambul will spend the night here. And God also blessed that statement, and that was what happened. God made it that nobody spend the night. We returned home. But at that time, we came with some people who were almost paralyzed. We came home with them, they were almost paralyzed. Some of them, when they returned, maybe their relatives would take them to the hospital so that they could get medication. But I did not go to hospital. After I left there, except this year, every year I am working. Every year I am farming. But this year, some, some uh, uh, something is inside my, my body. Each time I lie down in the night, all and my joints are pinning me. Even my vision now is not far. My vision is blurred. That's where things are. But after you took the concoction, did you begin to experience any difficulties? I know there is something that we have written on the paper and given it to the commissioners. Is that really what happened to you? You're not saying exactly what it is? Ako silang, birite boro mim fuka pare. Fo, wokola ete manaje ete fango jato, fo kumang falingi jato kono eman kuje mensi kela, katu ya kaiti safele ye mendi komisional. Nko, I am saying. Kumo doli bije. There are some statements. When those things happen to you, or oh, it's in your system, you don't say that here. You will not say that here. A human being. The reason why people will know your inner secrets, <laughs> you told them. Uh, we won't ask you to say any more than that. 
So we take a short break from, uh, we take a lunch break now, and we come back uh, at the time the chairman would determine. So uh, Badembo, we leave it at that for the time being. Between Badembo, Council Co. and Sikul Bula or Tumo, Nintembe, Molisita, Conton Dahala, between Ning Alasson, the Nim Murutan, and Tentamosik Diamola. Similar. Allah Baraka. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Emma Council, and uh, thank you. Mr. Bojan, we will take a one hour break and come back at uh, three o'clock sharp. Meeting is adjourned. Be Montoro article in the hat along a Murunan Talansaba. Between Bengoban Telefollow.